Hello. Hello, I think we're all good. Hello, everybody. I'm just checking all the, you know what I'm like with the technology. I <laughs> think you just saw the back of my head at the beginning there. That wasn't supposed to happen either. But um, hopefully we're good. Let me just check that there's some sound. I think there is. So let's carry on. How are you all tonight? Let me say hello to a few people. I've got a little bit of a cold. That's the joy of living with small children. They're always bringing you back uh, diseases. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of a bit of a cold. Hey, but hey ho, we'll crack on, it's fine. Hello to Carl. Hopefully you got your beer poured. It's always good. I'm on a fast day today. Any of you guys do fasting? Take a couple of days off food. It's supposed to be good for you. But it also means you have to take a couple of days off beer. However, in the UK right now, there's some really good alcohol free beers. Uh, and there's one uh, by Brewdog, which is called Nanny State. And it's got no alcohol in it. Well, very, very small amount, 0.5%. It doesn't even show up really. But the other cool thing about it is it's only 26 calories a beer. So it's pretty much the same as water. And it actually tastes really nice. Anyway. Ah, one day, one day, I'm going to start the stream and I'm going to turn, on, maybe I'll just ditch the music. I always forget to turn the music off. I always forget to turn the mic on. <laughs> but anyway, can you hear me now? Hopefully that's better. So tonight I want to talk about some social media. Um, it was just a topic I thought of earlier because I need to set up a Facebook page for Bow Wow Tech. So I thought I could do that while you guys were with me and we'll see how it goes and whatever. But I'm obviously also here to answer any of your questions. And by the way, you haven't missed anything with the music. I was only talking about beer, so nothing important. But anyway, hello um, to the firm and hello, Carl. Hello, um, R7. Hello, Redouan. Hello, Jason. Hello Dawn, hello Russell, hello Mawa, hello Best Tech Reviews, hello Andreas, good to see you all tonight. I'm just going to do a quick um, update on Facebook, let's see if we can get some more people in, maybe on Twitter too. I was going to simultaneously try and stream on Facebook at the same time as YouTube, but <laughs> Judging by my video technology skills, that might not be a good idea. But also learned that Facebook don't like you doing that. If you're gonna to stream to Facebook, it has to be Facebook only. They don't like you multicasting. Okay, that's shared on Facebook. Let's see if that uh, drums up a few more people. Hi, Michael. Best Tech Reviews has already come in with a social media question. Oh yeah, and I was also saying, by the way, while the music was playing, that I've got a bit of a cold, so I'm a little bit croaky. So hopefully you can hear me, and hopefully I'm gonna last the, the full hour. I think I'll be fine. Um, So the best way to, Best Tech Reviews says, what is the best way to increase uh, Facebook likes without doing paid advertising? The best way is to share some really good content. It's the only way you're gonna reach other people. Uh, generally, it's you do some good content, people share it, it appears in front of people that don't follow your page, and then they like it. It's actually quite hard to, uh, to generate likes. The other way is obviously advertising on your site. Make sure you've got a clear thing. You could maybe even use a pop-up. So rather than capturing email addresses with something like Optin Monster, you could encourage social uh, likes instead. However, one of the easiest ways is to use some paid advertising, at least to get the ball rolling, because um, you need a, like a base of people in order to get your stuff shared and get, get some reach. So it's kind of catch 22. Hey, hello. <laughs> Anthony, they're doing an impression of me in text, which is quite 
hard to do. Um, Carl says, have you received that email from Google today saying mobile first indexing is now enabled? Yes, I actually received one today, I think it was. Um, for Actually, it was for a client site. It wasn't for one of my sites. But yeah, I got that email, and basically what that said was that Google are now going to index the mobile site um, primarily um, rather than indexing the desktop site and then trying to um, use that for the mobile uh, results as well. That's quite interesting. You can obviously see that mobile is like the, pr like the number one uh, thing for Google. That's probably the number one place where people search as well is on their mobile phones. So they're optimizing everything now for mobiles. I'm not sure what kind of consequence it's going to have on the site. We'll have to wait and see. Russell there has got another great tip for building likes. He says uh, he shares his Facebook posts into groups that are similar to what the niche is. That's a very good idea. Thank you for that. The Furman says, do Facebook likes actually add value to your external site? Well, of course, with Facebook likes, you can then market to them on an ongoing basis and, and reach them. But as you've also said, uh, if you get 20, you can get plenty of likes on Facebook, but they try and coerce money out of you every time you put a post up, which is true again. Um, however, again, that depends on the content. The better content, the more shares, the more likes it gets, the more organic reach you will get. But yeah, Facebook, they do like like money, which is why sometimes maybe a group is a better thing because with a group in theory you can you can reach people a little bit easier. Anthony has a burning question. When you import products with Woozone, why is it that some images are tiny and some are not? There is no difference between the products in terms of setting what causes this. It could be the size of the images that are already on Amazon. It I mean maybe have a look at the product page. <clears throat> Although I don't know if they fluctuate. But that, that probably is a reason why. If you send me some links, I'm, I could have a look into into that in a bit more detail. Hello, Helen. Hello, Bram. And hello, Stephanie. Are you wearing a T-shirt, Stephanie? Uh, Stephanie is up on the on the Facebook page today, by the way. So do check out the Facebook page. Let me give you a link if you don't know where it is. If you head over there now, obviously click the like button when you get there. You'll see uh, Stephanie is rocking one of the t-shirts. So go check that out. And there's some other stuff on there as well, but I think that's probably the best thing on there right now. <laughs> Oh, Carl. Yeah, that's interesting. Carl says he knows someone with a Facebook selling group who earns between three to four K a month. So what is that a selling site like a local selling site where people can sell their stuff? Hello, Lucy Glad you can make it. So Best Tech Review says will you be re reviewing our site state and giving your professional feedback? Yeah, I can do that. But bearing in mind if you share your site, someone might copy your niche. Which actually brings me on to a subject that I do want to talk about today, um, which I will before we get started on social media. And that is, I would never copy someone else's niche. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that you do it, and I personally would never do it, because, a number of reasons why. First, copying stuff is not a good thing, generally. It's not very nice. <laughs> and secondly, um, if someone's already in a niche, then, you know, it's a bit silly to try and get in that niche too I mean, you know you've already got some competition they're already well established they're already probably making money getting traffic so you're just gonna be late to the party and the reason I say this is that if you do share your site with me and I know a lot of you do because you want help and, and that's fine and I do try and help you um, I'm never gonna um, like steal your idea steal your niche because I'm perfectly capable of coming up with my own bad niche <laughs> without copying someone else's and again, yeah, the reason why I say this is because I got an email from someone the other day who was a bit rude and a bit annoyed. And they'd seen that I'd set up the Bowwell tech, which is just an idea that I know that we were floating around in chat for ages. And it was, um, I don't know how we came across it. I think we were looking for dog treadmills or something. I don't know. We, we stumbled across it. I remember that. 
But anyway, he sent me one of his sites a long time ago and his site was around pets and stuff like that. It did have dog stuff on it. I helped him out with it and you know, once I've helped someone, it kind of falls out of my mind. I'm not thinking about everyone's sites because I see a lot of sites and I can't possibly remember them all. But yeah, obviously he'd seen that I'd set up the dog site and sent me a very uh, shouty, rude email saying that I'd ripped him off and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I just want to be clear, I would never um, rip off your site. And if I do, then it's not intentional. It just happens to be that I coincidentally chose a very similar niche to what you were already in. But at the end of the day, I mean, you can't worry too much about it. There's always gonna be competition, isn't there? Um, however good your niche is, you're probably always gonna have competition. And you just gotta kinda deal with that. Anyway, hello Andy, good to see you. First timer on here, welcome. Anthony says, just look at your store products. Anthony, what store are you talking about? Bow Wow Tech, we can take a look at that in a moment. The camera is still, I'm still looking a bit green. And pets is a very obvious niche, as Furman has just pointed out. It is, it's too obvious, really. Stephanie says she's not wearing a shirt, but she loves it. It's nice quality. Uh, I know where you went with that company. Yeah, they are good quality shirts. Obviously, I'm wearing mine. Uh, why wouldn't I let me I can stand up a little bit get a better view available to buy now by the way have you checked out wpeagle.com um been working on it for the last few days I did I know in the last stream I said it would be up because the last stream was Thursday wasn't it um I said it would be up on Friday uh, I think it actually went live on Tuesday so yeah a little bit behind but there was more work um to be done and I think it's looking really nice. So go check out wpeagle.com. The colored background is a bit of a sticking point. Some people love it, some people don't like it. I love it, we'll see how it goes. I've adjusted it slightly so you can read the white text. Um, the store is up there so you can get the merch there. Just have a look for merch across the top. Have a look, I've added some um, shipping information. Good stuff to have on, a, on an e-commerce site. I've also added a size guide for the t-shirt. So if you weren't ordering before because you weren't sure about sizing, it's all on there now, so there's nothing stopping you getting a fantastic t-shirt. They are available in a number of colors, and I know that's not 100% clear on the site, so I'm gonna change that soon. But if you click through to one of the uh, products that says colored on it, um, you'll be able to choose a color. And there's quite a few to choose from, and they're really, really nice colors, even if I do say so myself. And also, there's gonna be more merch coming soon. I'm thinking as we're going into the colder months, some hoodies maybe. I don't know, beanie hats, I don't know. It's endless really, the merch that's available. So I'm gonna be adding some more products soon. We'll see. Hello Rohit, nice to see you again. Carl says, have you heard Income School have set up a business with 15 writers starting seven new websites from scratch. They are planning to post 200 posts a month. I have heard that. In fact, I had an email from them today, which is nice. So yeah, they've been, I've had an email from Ricky. They've been really busy because we're gonna do an interview or something. I'm gonna get them to come on to here, I think. That's what I'm gonna ask first, if they'll, if they'll do that. Um, if they'll come on one of these streams on a hangout or something and we'll just do a Q&A. They are serious about content, you know, they are way up above here, <laughs> way more than me. Uh, and they know that content is king and you know, their ethos is just, you know, produce some really good quality content and you will rank, it'll take some time, uh, you know, a good few months, um, something like 30 weeks I think is their kind of rule of thumb, maybe even a bit longer. But yeah, they're all about creating really good content, getting ranked, making loads of money. So we're still kind of talking, they're really busy as they setting up this uh, stuff. But yeah, we'll get them on the channel and maybe I'll go on their channel, although I don't know how much I can add to their channel in terms of content, but you know, I could add some WordPress stuff because that's not, um, not really what they do. After our little chat last week, I, I know what the channel's about. I know what WP equals about now in terms of my focus. So it is gonna be WordPress. It's gonna be making money. It's gonna be promotion and um, and just making really good WordPress sites. That's what it's about. But there's always gonna be a WordPress element alongside the making money. So I think I've carved out a little bit of a niche 
for myself then it's clearer now in terms of the kind of content that I need to produce. Speaking of content, there's a couple of videos I uploaded today. They're not particularly exciting at all. In fact, they're not exciting at all, but they are quite important. So there are two videos today. The first one is creating your policy documents. So your privacy policy, is it privacy or is it privacy? Uh, tomato, tomato, I guess. <laughs> your privacy policy and another one, and also in that video on your creating your cookie policy, I can talk, we'll be fine. And then the other video is adding one of those annoying um, cookie acceptance banners. Found a really cool service, um, which they do offer a free uh, level, but for quite a bit of, if you're Amazon affiliate, you are gonna have to pay, it's like $27 a year, but they generate all your terms and conditions for you so that you're all uh, legal. And well, when I say terms and conditions, I mean privacy policy and cookie policy, which are kind of terms and conditions. Yeah, and it's really cool. And they've got the plugin and everything to add it to your site. So check those videos out. They're boring, but you do need a privacy policy and you do need a cookie policy, especially if you're in the EU, because the EU like to mess around with the internet. So they brought out the cookie policy, they brought out the GDPR, and now they're doing some mad copyright thing, which is gonna totally screw up everything from what I've seen. Now, believe me, I'm a Remainer when it comes to Brexit, but I hate the EU messing with the EU, uh, internet. In fact, I hate any government body messing with the internet. It's fine, leave it alone. Don't try and regulate it, don't try and control it. It's the internet. Anyway, I'm going on a rant. Let's go through some of your questions. Our server says, if you research a niche or a niche topic on Google Trends, how much do you, de how much do you depend on where in the States and the US where the trends are located? Um, that's a question that I don't know the answer to really. So when I'm doing Google Trends uh, research, I'm obviously normally looking at UK. And with UK, I don't need to uh, kind of break it down into regions, but it's just not that big a country. So I can't really help you, I don't know, I mean, yeah, that's something I could probably look into. Yeah, because I, I guess obviously trends would vary by state. Photo Agile, hello. So hi Alex, I do have a site on WordPress for two months ago and I'm not getting traffic because of free domain name .ga, please advise me. I don't know what a .ga domain is, but if you think it's your domain name, then I would get a different domain name. <laughs> you know, get a .com or something that's a little bit more top level. It's probably not to do with your domain name, if I'm honest. Um, if you're talking about search traffic, there's a lot of other factors that are gonna affect that and your domain name is probably not one of them. Rohit says, do you write your own content? Um, some of it, although a lot of it recently I have outsourced it. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of it I've outsourced. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a video on content real soon and I will be writing some content myself in that video. Um, but yeah, the most recent stuff has been outsourced to writers, obviously. <laughs> Antony says, your newly resigned site should include your you can do site, like maybe in the footer. Yeah, it should do, good idea. I'll add it. So do it says general versus niche or niche. I'm gonna go, I'll stick with niche for the rest of the stream, I think. We'll go with the uh, British slash French word or pronunciation. Um, niche is always better. The more specific your site, the more chance you've got of getting ranked on Google, the easier you'll find it is to write content. And 
it's just easier because you're able to carve out that niche, you're able to kind of hold that area and generally the competition is gonna be a lot less in very specific niches. So yeah, always try and go as specific as you possibly can. The more specific, the better generally. Obviously not too specific where you haven't got any products to choose from because it's so specific there's only like one product. But yeah, as specific as you can where you've still got scope to create some good content and um, you're able to you know have a good range of products. Hi, Brian. Are you wearing your t-shirt today, Brian? Firma says, good thing we voted Brexit. Yeah. We're not talking about that tonight. Uh, Larry says, do you use staging for your websites? If so, do you use a cloud service or plugin or both? Um, the staging I do use, if I'm gonna do any staging, I just use WP Engine, which has a built-in staging a thing you may have noticed that I did some changes to WP Eagle hopefully you did because I've been talking about them for quite a while um, and while I was doing them I just literally had a maintenance plugin on which is not ideal because you obviously haven't got any traffic coming through and it could possibly have a negative effect on search engine rankings which is another thing I haven't done my 301 redirects on WP Eagle and I have totally restructured the site uh, I'm hoping it'll be fine I can't be bothered there's too many <laughs> But if you do change any URLs and structure the site, you should 301. It's my advice, otherwise you could lose rank, but it'll be fine, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, R7, let's do a redirect um, demonstration now. Let's do some, um, I, I, I probably should do a proper video. But I'll do a live one and then we'll do some social media stuff. So let me see if I can get this transition stuff going. <clears throat> Hello, uh, you got a better view of the t-shirt on this one. Oh, also available without the eagle, whatever you prefer. I like the eagle. I've got both and in fact I'm gonna get some more. I think I could, I'm gonna order another five or six so then I, I just, I can be like Mark Zuckerberg and yeah, never have to worry about what to wear. I'm just gonna wear WP Eagle merch all the time. <laughs> I don't know if that's cool or really, really sad. Probably, probably sad. But anyway, um, let's see if I can share some display. Hey, we're working. So redirects, redirects, redirects. Let's have a look. Um, I'll do one right now while we're while we're on. So it's not quite. F I don't know why. Let me just see if I can get this to fit properly. I want the. Um, Okay, that's not that's not right. Um, okay, now, I guess you can kind of see what what's going on. Ish. Does that help? That doesn't help. Um, what if I do like a negative in here? I need to go maybe go on some OBS training. <laughs> Ooh. No, no, this is not working. Let's cancel that. Let's move this out of the way. Let's see if we can get the display capture working. So not I wish I could just, you know, go back to Google Hangouts. Ah, that's actually okay now, I think. Sort of. Okay, here we go. So let's talk about some redirects. I'm gonna make this window a bit smaller so you can sort of see what I'm doing. But it is gonna make the navigation look a bit weird. Isn't it? It's kind of gone, ah, whatever. Because no one has their browser at this size. But anyway, if I go over to uh, Google, do a search for WP Eagle, I bet we'll find some broken links. And this is why you need 301s. It'd be good if I could spell. So, like this one. This is an old link. 
because I've got rid of all these categories and stuff, it's a bit more logical. So if I click this, I'm probably gonna get 404. Yeah, 404, you see, that's bad. Yeah, because Google's not gonna like it. It's gonna de-index all these pages and hopefully, all these pages, and hopefully it's gonna re-index properly. But if you're sensible, which I'm not always, you should do 301's redirect. So to do that, what you wanna do is, I'm just gonna open another tab. Yes, another tab. They call me Mr. Many Tab, as you know. And I've already got the plugin installed. The plugin is this one. I think you just saw my analytics there, didn't you? About 100 a day on wpeagle.com. It needs to be way more, which is why I've revamped it and I'm starting to push uh, the site a lot more. I'm gonna be mentioning it more in the videos and possibly, it's an idea that I've been banning around, doing some exclusive content just on the site. It won't be on YouTube anywhere else or Facebook, just be on the site. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I digress. The plugin is this one, which is just called Redirection. That's pretty easy uh, to remember. It's got this, this, whatever this is. Is that a plant? I think that's a plant. It's a cool little plugin. Once you've installed it, you get uh, this redirection section within tools. I think it's probably gonna show me the 404s actually. Yeah, yeah, look, there's the one I just did, isn't it? Is that the one I just did? I think it is. So this is pretty cool. So you can go through here and, uh, and redirect. But I'm gonna do it manually just for this demonstration. So I'm gonna click add new. So then you go to the source URL, which was not that, what the heck is that? Source URL is this one. Let me copy that to my clipboard. There we go. Target URL, now this was all around building complete websites. And I do have this section now, which is all around complete websites. So I'm gonna redirect to here. So I'll just put the target in there. I'm gonna group it under redirections. The group doesn't really matter. You can have more groups, it's just to keep things tidy. It says it's saved, although you can't actually see that. It's done it down the bottom here. You see it down there. So now, we go back to our Google search. We click on this one that was 404ing. Ta-da! No 404, we're redirected to the right page. And wow, that was a demonstration that actually worked. Make a note of that. I see Brian says his t-shirt's in the wash. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. They are, they're very high quality t-shirts. Wash them as much as you like, they'll be fine. Okay. Okay, so while I've got the, <clears throat> the computer on, let's do some social media stuff. And then I'll go back to questions and we'll just do questions for the rest of the stream. So, social media. It's something that you really should probably think about, though a lot of people do uh, run affiliate sites without social media, which is fine. I mean, social media, there is an overhead to it. You can streamline it with tools and things like that, but you know, it requires you to add posts and stuff, which is not a huge job. As I say, you can use tools like Buffer and uh, TweetDeck, those kind of things to, to help you. Um, yeah, and it's like a good place to share your content every time you upload an article, whatnot. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all that kind of thing. I'm not gonna go into too many different social networks. I'm gonna focus on Facebook predominantly, although I have had some uh, some results off of Pinterest. It's a great place to share images and products and, and all that kind of stuff. But let's just go through the basics. So on bowwowtech.co.uk, uh, I've not set up any social media profiles, so I thought what we'd do is we'll just set up a Facebook page I'll show you how to do it. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar, but you never know. And then what I probably will do is um, is build some likes using some paid ads, and you know, install a pixel and all that kind of stuff to track it, just to get it going. So 
So let's head to Facebook now. I'm gonna go this again. This is where live can go wrong. There's something inappropriate that's gonna appear, probably. Uh, uh, maybe not. So I don't know if you remember, I had this other Facebook page which I'm actually thinking, uh, which is still getting stuff going on actually. This one called Labrador Feed. You remember that when I created the viral site, which was quite a long time ago. But this built up quite nicely in the dog niche and used to get quite a bit of um, response. In fact, I used it to try and sell uh, some drop shipping hideous pendants. You know how well that turned out. <laughs> Not well. So I'm actually thinking I might use these followers a little bit and promote dog uh, bower tech on here. You know, it could work. But anyway, to create a new page, you need to come up here. I'm gonna go into my pages, which there is many. And then there's a thing up here, it says create a page. Now you wanna choose what you are, either a business or a brand or a community or public figure. It's kind of a bit touch and go really on this, but we're probably a business or brand. I'm wondering if this affects your, uh, your reach at all. So click get started. Give it a name, bow, wow, tech, category, well, is it pets? Hmm, pet supplies maybe, pet, pet, is it, no, uh, retail is that? We're not retail really are we, we're a, um, I don't know, what would we say we are? Dog, is there anything under dog? Pet shop. I don't want to put shop because we're not a shop really. <laughs> you can't put affiliate. No. Um, recommendation site, is there anything like that? Any of you got any ideas on what sort of category? I mean, we could put this in. Yeah. We could maybe be a comparison site. Yeah. My spell, I'm spelling, how many M's? It? No, there's nothing coming up for that. Blog, let's go for blog. Uh, Because we create content, it's oh, oh, it doesn't like my capitalizations there. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's keep it all lowercase. Add a profile picture. Okay, I've got this ready, so I'm just going to be using my logo. Which I think is about 150 something by 150 square. Got a cover photo as well. I can't remember the dimensions of this, but if you Google them, you will find them. It's like 800 by 300, something like that. There we go. Look at that. The dog looks like he's slightly off to the left. Hey, I added a cover. Where is it? What the? This one. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I see you're all suggesting things like retail company and pet supplies, but I don't want to. I don't want the focus of the site to be retail. I want the focus of the site to be content, which is kind of what we all should be focusing on, because that's how you get affiliate sites to work really well. So yeah, so here's our brand new page. We can add a button, which is let's save that. By a few little things we should do. We should add a button. What I'll do is I'll, I will set up an ad uh, just to build some likes in a moment. We should probably uh, you know add some posts as well. That would be good. Add a page button. So probably shop. See offers. That's good. I like that. And 
Where did I send people to? Uh, ah, this is no, that's not. It's some offers. No, no, no. I want to link to the site. Uh, shop now. Let's go for shop now. Or maybe learn more. Yeah, I say I don't want it to be too shoppy. Uh, okay, let's go with shop. Add the website link. There we go. Yeah, by the way, Tech Timmy, I will have I'll show you buffer in a minute if you're interested. I see Tech Timmy is asking about buffer. So anyway, we can add a page name. Let's it'd be good to get that username secured. That's cool, we like that. There we go, and we're pretty much ready now. You can invite some of your friends. Um, I don't want any of these tips. I know exactly what I'm doing, can't you? <laughs> Obviously. I don't like these posts that it puts up, these kind of default posts. It just shows that you're a new page. I'm going to get rid of all these. No one needs to know that I've updated my cover photo. Hide. Yes. So I'm just going to get rid of all these. Don't want them. Last one. So let's just share a couple of things, get the page look like there's something going on. I'll share something from the blog. So let's go for the amazing infographic. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a video on this real soon, this article, because at the moment this article is average in my opinion. I mean it's got the infographic which is nice and it's got a bit of text but I'm going to do a video on turning this article um, from this average sort of article into an amazing article. I thought you guys might find that useful so you know really pimping it up, adding loads more words, loads more content, images, products, all that kind of stuff. But for now let's share it on the Facebook page. I'm just copying the link and then I don't know what that is. dog at night. Uh, something like that. Is it going to get the preview? Yeah, looks nice. Share that now. Can add a send message button to the post. Not right now, thank you. So there we go, we've got a post up and running. Just going to take a moment. That's cool. Of course, I need to add this to um, Bowertech. Do that now, I suppose. Which I believe, top of my head, the Kingdom has its own options for social. So, is it in customize? Let's have a look. No worries, tech to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna dip into buffer right now if you're if that's what you want. So I think it's in here. Ah, head of social options. There we go. Just gonna paste the URL in. Which in fact is the same as the one I guessed. That's weird, I probably don't need to paste it in. It's the same as the one I put in when I created the site before I'd even created the Facebook page, but hey, I guess it would be unless someone else had taken it before I got to it. So there we go, we've got the post up and running. So I, I don't wanna kind of post everything right now because it'll all come up uh, on the same time. I could of course schedule it using the Facebook scheduler, but it's actually, I prefer to use a tool called Buffer. If, if I can type, if you do a search for Buffer, it's this one here. Login. I've already got an account. Let's just 
have a look how much it costs. I've forgotten. It's like you can have, do it for free for free social accounts. That might be enough for you. Pro is eight and, and whatever. I've got the pro, I think. Uh, but I can't remember how I signed up. Let's see if we can remember the password. This is my other email address, by the way. Mm. <laughs> this is going to work well. I'm going to have to get my password manager out in a minute. Come on, we can remember this password. Is it this one? Nope. Here we go. Let's try one more time. Or I'm just going to lock myself out, aren't I? Oh, aren't passwords a pain? I hate passwords. All right, I'm just getting my password manager up on my phone, so bear with me a second. Okay, I'm in. I'm into the password manager. That's a good start. I can remember that password. Oh, I don't even seem to have it in my password manager. This is a nightmare. Uh, I'm going to have to reset my password, possibly. Let me just check on my other computer. I think I'm gonna to have to reset my password. That's bad times. So let me just do that now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna answer a few of your questions. So let's do that now. Let me just uh, adjust the uh, the camera view. Sorry, I'm, I'm being. I, I realise I'm being quite silent a lot. I'm looking at stuff and trying to read and do things, and I can't talk at the same time, which is no good to anybody. Okay, let me get back up the um, the chat and see what I've missed. Okay, right. And she says, would you buy a domain name you find perfect for your niche like there was no others like it, but it costs $5,000 and you couldn't get around with different name styles. If you think it's worth the investment, it has to be really good for that sort of money and you know have a bit of history, that kind of thing. If it was a brand new domain just with a fancy name, I probably wouldn't pay that money. If it was a kind of old age domain with loads of links, then maybe, really depends on domain. Tech Timmy says, just started to market my niche site on Pinterest, emailed like 15 group board owners on Monday, but I've only heard back from one so far. That's actually quite a good response rate there, Tech Timmy. It's all a numbers game, but you know, response rates are generally quite low. Obviously it depends on what you send. That's gonna have a big effect. Now I get a lot of emails, but occasionally one comes through. Recently I did some work with a guy who just contacted me cold off email and it worked, it just caught my attention. What he put in the email and everything, just. I had to read it and I had to reply. So yeah, when you're reaching out to people and sending loads of emails, it's really down to how good your copy is. Hopefully you saw that um, redirection demonstration all okay. Um, Briar, best tech review says, I think I need to make some short YouTube clips to get some exposure and rank better. Yeah, good idea. YouTube is a great way to get some rank and get some traffic. And you don't have to record your face like I do. I mean, I don't even know why I do record my face. It's not exactly something you want to see too often. Um, you can just record your screen, create videos that way. Helen says, any idea what the download megabyte GB thing is for your live stream? Uh, question is because I'm about to move and take some weeks to install. I bought a 4G thing image. 4G will be fine. I think you can you can access this over 3G. It will just change the quality. 
not that I can get the quality particularly good anyway, but I think I'm broadcasting at the moment at 1080p, which is HD, but on a slower connection, uh, it'll just scale down to a, a lower quality. By the way, if you're enjoying tonight's stream, do click the like button, that really helps me out. And, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, but I'm sure you are, that's why you're here. Yeah, Dan says, what did you use to create the site map links in your nav on your site? Okay, that's a good question. I just used a simple, very simple plugin. I guess you're talking about WP Eagle. Let's have a look. Transition. That's a smooth transition. And turn on the thing. There we go. I've not reset this password yet. We'll come back to that in a second. So WP, I actually added that sitemap just the other day, so I really should probably remember. But it, yeah, it was just a free plugin that I found. In fact, I know I've got a video on the channel on how to add a HTML sitemap. It might be a little bit old. Probably time to redo that one. Let me just show you what I've got in here. I'm going to do a little find. It's this one. It's called Simple Sitemap. That's pretty straightforward. The way it works is with a little short code that you then add to the page. Let me find the page. Just create a page called sitemap, blank page. Then within the content area, you add this little uh, little short code and then you can decide what you wanna show in the sitemap. So I've just gone for page and post. I guess I could add product. I don't know if that works with the free version. Let's just see. That in theory would add my WooCommerce products to the excellent WP Eagle merch. Well, let's see. Here we go, moment of truth. This is gonna be one of those demonstrations that, 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 that's all the posts, quite a lot of posts. Ah, oh, that works. I didn't want to say anything then, but yeah, it worked. So there you go. That's pretty cool, huh? So that's it, it's simple sitemap. I'll do a video on that soon. Let me just make a note. Which I've done right now. So let me just see if I've got an email from Buffer. Doesn't look like it. That's annoying. I really want to show buff and I've got an account and everything. I don't know why it's not working. That's very annoying. I just wish I could remember passwords. In fact, I've only just paid them, so yeah, definitely. Um, definitely got an account. Ah, hang on. Here we go. I, I used to have an assistant doing some buffer stuff for me, so I probably sent over a login. Let me have a look. Um, la, 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 la. Come on, give me that reset password. Anyway, while we're waiting for that reset password, let me uh, go through some of your other questions. Photo address says, can you buy me a .com domain? Uh, not right now, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe one day, maybe I'll do a, a competition to give away a free domain. Go to GoDaddy, someone like that. Domains are really are are quite cheap. It's a good investment, uh, a good domain. Yeah, I can. I'm trying to do. Anthony says, "Can you provide a tutorial on using Buffer?" Which is what I'm trying to do. If I could just log into it, um, but maybe if that's not going to happen tonight. Oh, hang on, it's come through. It's just come through. We're okay. 
here we go, I'm gonna reset my password. Let's do the buffer thing now. Let's put a password in that I might remember. Password one should be fine. Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's go back on the display. Right, here we go, here's some buffer stuff going on. So buffer. Buffer is a great way of doing your social media work in one hit. So rather than having to kind of remember every day or whatever to post some stuff, you could just, or maybe on a Monday, sit down, schedule up all your social media, then you know don't worry about it too much. Hey, we're in, perfect. So the first thing, on, I've got a few accounts on here. You see they've got WP Eagle and beer shirts and stuff like that. You can kind of uh, set them as defaults or not. I'm just gonna untick them. I'm gonna add our brand new um, one. I'm on the Pro plan, which was previously awesome, but Pro obviously sounds better. Uh, so I'm gonna select my page. I'm obviously already authorized with Facebook. You'd have to authorize it. There's my Bow Wow Tech. That's what we want to add. Then we're all set. There I am. So let's go back to the buffer dashboard. So what you do within buffer, so you want to queue up some posts. Let's go back into the blog, find something to share. Great thing with this is well, you can share to multiple social platforms in one go. So you want to share to Facebook and Twitter and um, Instagram, maybe any of those guys. You can do it with Buffer and one hit. So let's go for this one. Well, we've already done the nighttime thing. Let's go for puppy potty training. I'm just going to go through and copy. What? My computer's being a bit weird. It always goes weird when I'm streaming. I don't know what that is. Like gremlins. So what I want to share, avoid having to get the mop out too often with this guide on training your uh, puppy. Paste the link. Theory, I should get a preview, but it's uh, don't know why not. Let's just add it to the queue and see if it looks any better. So it's going to add it to the queue now. The queue is already set up with some random times and things, but you can adjust them as you like. So uh, I can do another one now. Let's do another one while we're here. So yeah, you can within Buffer you can set the times. So I think I've got like four set per day. I mean, if I ever do post that, that'd be great. So a couple in the morning, couple in the afternoon, maybe one's in the afternoon, maybe another one in the evening. So you can kind of set your schedule or you can get Buffer to kind of add stuff randomly to mix it up a bit more. Let's go with this one then. Uh, keep an eye on your dog when you're out. Leave the house and know that your best friend, your dog, <laughs> Uh, well, I'm trying to be funny as you can tell. Uh, leave the house and know that your best friend, your dog, is safe with these cool doggy cameras. I don't know what that message is to keep popping up, it disappears too quick. Add to queue, there we go. So I think those two are fine. I'd like you to recommend Buff to a co worker. I'm, I'm recommending it right now on the internet. So there we go. So here we go. I don't know why there's no um, no image coming up on that. I might have to look into that, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't wanna waste all you guys' time. So here's your post. You can like move stuff around. I maybe want that one on Friday. I can drag that to Friday. Uh, well, it looks like actually I've only got two. <laughs> I thought maybe four was a bit optimistic. I've got one in the morning, or well, actually around lunchtime, and then one in the evening. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna share this right now and just see what it looks like. Let's see if that image or whatever is working. 
let's refresh. Okay, great. That didn't that, that doesn't work, does it? Uh, have I just shared that to beer shirts? <laughs> Let me have a look. I think I have. So yeah, number number two thing to check. Number first, whatever. Just make sure that you're posting to the right page. I think I've just posted. That. Yeah, I have. <laughs> but yeah, WordPress error. So it's for whatever reason it's not um, bringing the image through. This one, this that's what we want. What that? So when I paste this, whatever that link is, it's not that one. Uh, it's not bringing in the. Um, I want to go with this one. Thank you. There's some weird stuff going on on my computer. I don't know what's going on. I think you get the idea. What I'm going to do is. Is look into why it's not pulling um, the social stuff through. It should bring up an image and it should bring up all the text. So I don't want to go too much further on this and obviously yeah, make sure you're on the right thing. Let's go back to some of your questions. I haven't quite, I don't think we've got time to do the ads either. Oh yeah, what the heck, let's do some ads quickly. Just to build up a few likes and I'll give you an idea of how much stuff costs. So if I go back into um, the page, Biotech, which I can see that a couple of you have liked. Uh, Stephanie, thank you very much. And then there's this button over here that says Promote. So I'm gonna go for Promote Your Page. Now, of course, you'd probably um, do a better image and all that kind of stuff. Or you might even just share a post. I mean, it's kind of experimental, which works best. It might best not to share the dog walking post, especially once I've really made it really good and then use that to build life. But for this, we'll just, uh, we'll go for this. I'm gonna go for a single image. That image is fine for now. The latest technology. Technology, let's do some spelling for Dogs, probably need a little bit more than that. Uh, find out about, this is all a bit of a rush. <laughs> I'll probably come back and read it, but you get the idea. Um, people you choose to be targeting. So I need people that live in the UK because the site is predominantly uh, UK based. Let's get rid of that and let's add United Kingdom. United Kingdom, it sounds so Game of Thrones, doesn't it? Our country, we've got loads of different names. And then include people that like the following, so I want people that like dogs. Okay, that's good. Which is only 8.8, .8, no, yeah, 8.8 .8 million people, is that? That's a big number. Now with this um, kind of setup thing, you, you haven't got as many options as, oh hang on, you have, this is what I want, <laughs> I missed it. I also want people that include the following. So this is a way to get your targeting a lot more precise because you're going for people that are doing, uh, that are into two different things. So I want people that like dogs and I also want people that like technology. That's it. Okay, we've just lost 500,000 people. That doesn't sound right. But anyway, I'd probably refine this down a bit more if I wasn't rushing through it on a live stream. You can set a daily budget. Um, 
sometimes you can set a um, a kind of total budget oh, whatever so you know just like spend a tenner or whatever but anyway let's run it for seven days and let's have a daily budget of I want to spend about fifty dollars just to see what happens so if we're gonna run it for um, this is what I want <laughs> let it keep changing seven days I'm gonna do some maths that comes at about seven pound forty or seven dollars forty a day and we'll hit about 50 I'll spend 50 or 80 that'll do and that's fine now that is not an exciting ad really is it but yeah, you know you'd probably do something better have a nice image but hey ho let's see how we get on with that you also find that if you're more specific with your targeting you'll pay less generally Okay, I think that's enough live demonstrations and screen sharing. Let's go back to the questions. I'm gonna run for another 10 minutes or so, then we'll wrap up. Let me get rid of that. And of course, next week on the live stream, we will have a look at this um, promotion and see if I've totally wasted my money. R7 has a tip there. If you're gonna buy a domain from GoDaddy, make sure that you do a Google search for coupons. There is some available. For some reason, GoDaddy will not approve me for their affiliate program. I do not know why. I recommend them anyway because I use them and I like them. Do not use GoDaddy hosting though. It's rubbish. It sucks. It's garbage. When I say rubbish, that's not really a word to use in America. Garbage, same thing. Rubbish, garbage. Um, Best Tech Reviews says I can review his um, page. His site is besttech.reviews. Um, we could do that. I think I've had a look at your site before. And yeah, I like it, it's really nice. The one thing that I think is missing I mean do you want me to share it I'll share it quicker this is the last screen share of the evening I promise so it's best I don't like you getting that weird thing coming in my address bar tech dot reviews Here we are. So I saw another question actually in the chat, which I'll address now. So there are other plugin. Uh, what is that? That's an interesting picture. Oh yeah, I see you're using um, Hello Bar there to yeah get some likes. Good way of doing it. But anyway, I see also see you're running a cookie uh, thing as well. So the ones that I use in the video, they they're properly legal and they attach properly to privacy and uh, cookie policies. There are some free plugins out there that kind of do a similar job, but they're not going to create the documents for you. But yeah, of course, use them if you want to, if you don't want to pay, pay for legal stuff. So this is the site. It's not displaying properly just because I've got this window at a weird size. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Now, I do really like your site. It's a price comparison site, as we can see. And yeah, you've got some cool content going on. You've got some reviews going on. The one thing that I just, this is just my opinion, uh, because you've got loads of cool products and stuff. Your site runs nice and fast. You got your Facebook pixel installed, which is good. Um, my one comment would be that the site is obviously called Best Tech Reviews. But it's obviously a lot more price focused. I'm just wondering if you need to push some of your review content 
nearer the front so you could, so it's more obvious. Now I know that as you drill down you have got reviews because you're putting in Amazon reviews and I think you're, you know, you've added a few of your own reviews as well. But yeah, my personal opinion is that you need to have some of that review content on the front page and maybe it needs to be kind of blog posts so the best um, Bluetooth speaker for camping, those sort of blogs where you then do some reviews and kind of pull your review stuff together into blog posts. That's just my thought, but generally a really cool site. Be interested to know how it's going in terms of traffic, revenue, that kind of stuff. If you wanna share that, that'd be very interesting for everybody, I'm sure. In fact, as Carl says, he's uh, he's not. He says how you, he's asking you if you if you're getting any traffic, and uh, he says he couldn't see any blogs, which I can't. And he says why well, use Buffer over a WordPress plugin that will allow you to do the same thing. I didn't know there was a WordPress plugin that did the same as Buffer. It's just kind of an old habit of mine. I've loved Buffer for quite some time. I find it really easy. I like the way it connects to multiple social media accounts. I like the way you can schedule stuff up. Well, I'm just not sure why. Uh, it's not pulling through the right information. That could be a problem with the site. So I'll look into that and obviously whatever I find, I'll share with you. Stephanie, I have a blog set up and would like to set up reviews like the blog if I can, if I can, in one place. Is there a way to do that without having 20 review pages? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could use categories. I'm not quite sure 100% understand your question. But yeah, you could just put, you know, on your blog, just have a category called uh, reviews and just put the posts in there. You could link straight to that category and it will just keep things tidy. Using tags as well might be another way. And it says, why do you change the title when you post social media, not reuse the same title as you post? Just to mix it up a little bit, I like to have two things on there and sometimes I think that the post titles are not social media enough. So I don't even know what I'm trying to say, social media-ish. I just think you need to kind of add a nice little comment in the post and then and that needs to be different to the actual post of the article because that's gonna come through as well if it works properly and rather than have the same thing, it just looks better. Just my opinion, Anthony, that's all. And as best tech reviews, as I said, yeah, different titles work in better different in, in different things. So the titles that I've written on the site are for social uh, for search generally, um, whereas on social you you probably need slightly different things. You don't need to put as many keywords in that kind of thing. You need to be more eye catching and, and more clickbaity. Although obviously don't be clickbait, but you know you want to attract that click. Does Buffer keep any analytical data? Yes, it does. So Best Tech Reviews is talking about its site in the chat, so be sure to check that out. Even if you're watching the replay, the chat should still be working, which is cool. We had a peak tonight of 38 users, which is really good. So that's cool, there's 28 of you on right now. Superlink says, my, I'm writing my articles, and I see this, it's probably from Yoast SEO. The slugs this page contains stop words, uh, you should consider removing them. With, so that's things like if and but and those kind of words. Yoast seems to think you should remove from URLs, it's up to you. I don't know either way. I don't think they're a problem. And says, is your image not only because the 301 redirects? I don't know. I'll look into that. Awesome says, if you change the title of a post, it's a good idea to redirect the old title to the new one, especially if you change slug. Yes, you should definitely redirect if you change the slugs on anything. Sorry, Arsene, I do miss questions. That's why my moderators are here to help me. Thank you very much, Helen, for that. Yeah, so I hope to answer that. If you change any slugs, whatever, um, URLs, then you should redirect. That redirection plugin that I showed you should automatically do it. If you change something, it should automatically set up a redirector, though it obviously hasn't done it very well on my site there. Uh, I did change a lot of stuff. I was 
removing categories, adding categories, moving posts between categories, so it's probably too much for it. But a simple slug change, it should automatically create a redirect for you. I think the best tech review says, does it affect your site SEO if you do the reviews as products? For me, I've made all the reviews as products to get a certain look for the pages. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I do know. Well, I've got an idea, let's say that. I, I kind of got an idea. I think it may have an effect because in my experience, Google likes, out of all the different content types on WordPress, I think it prefers posts more than anything in terms of getting ranking on Google. I don't know why this is. It obviously thinks that there's more value to a post than a page or a product. Uh, you know, if it knows it's a product, it's gonna think, yeah, okay, that's a product. And unless someone's doing a specific search for a product, then it's probably not gonna show. So if someone's doing a search for a review, Google is more likely to show a post. That's just my opinion. I think it's to do with their advertising business. I think if you've got products and stuff, they want you to run AdWords and Google Shopping ads. But this is just a theory of mine. Try it out, as, as we've kind of said, it might be good to set up a blog and pull some of your review content together to create some really good content that involves a number of products on your site and then you link out to those products with their individual reviews. That could work really well for you. Carl tends to agree with me there in the chat. He says Google is smart. And simple content without products tends to rank better. Is it, and he says, is it worth creating a Facebook group if it's already been created in another country? Like I've seen one existing in India and elsewhere, but not in the US. Yeah, definitely, especially if they're quite busy. Uh, and he said, also, why not have a sharing feature for each post on your site? I do have sharing features on some of my other sites, just not on that one. There's a video on the channel, in fact, about adding social sharing buttons. WP Eagle has got social sharing buttons. Everyone's praising Helen. Helen is wonderful, of course she is. She helping me out tonight. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap the stream up any minute now, so before I go, if you could please click that like button below if you found tonight's stream interesting, amusing, whatever. If you didn't like it, you can click the dislike button, but you, you know that it hurts my feelings. <laughs> but you can click whatever you like. Best Tech Review says, well, to be honest, products are just different post types in WordPress, so the only thing that would change is the slug. It is, but I'm pretty sure, I'm just gonna check this out. That in the meta of your posts and pages, slugs, that kind of thing. There is a clue to Google that it's a product. Yeah, there is. So I'm not quite sure what SEO plugin you're using. SEO framework by Cyber, that seems to be what you're running. SEO Framework, which is, uh, yeah, I see it now, it's a WordPress plugin, I'm not familiar with it, I'll have to check it out. But yeah, so on your site, the best tech reviews, um, there within the meta, check out your, your source, you will see, <laughs> and I'm just struggling to find it now, I've just lost it. Uh, view source, come on, let me view that source. Yeah, within the meta, you've got property equals OG type content equals product. So within your meta properties, you are telling the world this particular page is a product. So Google does know that it's a product and not a post. There you go. So that could, could help. Anthony, which questions did I miss in particular? I th I'm sorry if I've messed, messed, missed, or messed, or messed anything up or missed anything. It's, um, I do apologise. Tarek, hello, hi everybody. Tarek, I'm just scrolling 
act through. I'm wondering if I've got your questions. Anthony says, can you explain what type of maintenance required when creating a page group are other than posting? Generally, it's just posting and obviously replying to comments, that kind of thing, but that's still quite a lot to do. The group, you just need to be involved in discussions, start discussions and get involved in discussions. Facebook group, I'm gonna look into as soon as I possibly can. I know I've already got one, but I'm gonna start being a bit more active in there and, and building it up. So do check it out, by the way. It's called the F uh, WP Eagle Mastermind Group, I think. <laughs> You'll find a link to it from the Facebook page. And she says, when using YouTube to record videos from my niche, would I be able to grab the product images and video from the manufacturer's site and use it in my videos to showcase it? Yeah, probably that'd be okay. It's in the public domain, isn't it, after all, sort of. And you're promoting their stuff, so they shouldn't have a problem. Yeah, that should be fine. Tarek, what is your site? Did I miss that? I see that you guys are talking about it in the chat. Uh, Tarek and Helen says you've got a lovely clean crisp site with some amazing info for visitors so I'm kind of interested now what your site is. Uh, do share it. But anyway I think that's enough. So thank you very much for joining me. Do click the like button uh, if you enjoyed the stream. Only 12 of you have done so, so far, but that, that's fine. That's fine. And he says, does a group page have to be tied into your personal Facebook account? Yeah, it does. I think, I don't think there's any way around that, Anthony. Yeah, Tarek, send me your site. I wanna check it out. Stream will be, let me just check my calendar before I say anything to commit myself. Yeah, the stream will be the same time next week. I'm gonna stick with half eight. Or well, in fact, it may even be even later. It might be nine, but I'll confirm that next week because my son's starting karate, so I'm gonna go with him to that. Check that out. But uh, yeah, do click the like button if you enjoyed tonight. I'm gonna to, um, be doing loads more videos for you guys. They'll be uploaded next week. I've not uploaded anything to Alex digital or Alec, whatever it's called, my other channel. Um, so I may get something up on that. We'll see how it goes. I'll put a link in the chat if you wanna go check out that channel. Um, the last chat was, um, sorry, the last vlog was all around commercial karma. So do check that one out. But yeah, I'm gonna leave you. Thanks very much for bearing with me with my technical issues and video editing skills my live video editing skills, hopefully my recorded video editing skills are a little bit better, but the live stuff, as you guys all know, uh, I seem to struggle with terribly. Remember, t-shirts are available to buy from wpeagle.com. Go get yourself one if you haven't got one already. And um, yeah, oh yeah, just to add, I see you're talking about the Facebook thing, even though pages and groups are tied to your personal account. They don't know that they're tied to you, apart from maybe groups, which will show that you're an admin or a moderator, but pages not. And that's it. Yeah, thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.